Hello, my name is Sarah DeWong. I am a project manager and consultant at Concentris. Today, I want to give you a quick overview of um, DocuSign for NetSuite. So the first thing you want to do is go to DocuSign and set up an account. Um, after that, log into NetSuite and let's go ahead and install the bundle. In order to find the bundle, go to customization, go to suite bundler, go to search and install bundles, and you'll come to this site. Under keywords, type in DocuSign. Then the bundle will show up on top most likely. Click on that, and that will take you to the bundle details. Um, you can go ahead and click install, um, but right here, just to notice under the admin documentation is a step-by-step -step instruction of how to install and how to configure and also send out documents. So that link will take you to this PDF. And it's pretty straightforward, pretty simple setup um, and use. So let's pretend you installed and set up DocuSign already. And when you go into any customer record or any entity record or um, most transaction records, you should see the two buttons here. So there's a difference between send with DocuSign and sign with DocuSign. Um, the basic difference is send with DocuSign means you're sending a document to a recipient for signature. Signing with DocuSign means you are signing a document yourself within NetSuite. Okay. All right, so let's start with sign with DocuSign. Uh, once you click that document, sorry, click that button, it will take you to this window, okay? So this window is a document that I've uploaded into the file cabinet for that record, and I'll pull it up. And you'll see here um, standard fields that I can basically drag and drop over. So I already dragged and dropped over the signature. I can also drag and drop a signature or an initial there. And that concludes me signing um, this document myself. So I'm gonna click finish. And I'm gonna click no thanks because I don't wanna send it to anyone in particular. And what that does is it will save that document in um, this record and you'll see it under communication and files. So that's a record that I just saved. Okay, it might take a little bit to refresh. Let's refresh it. There, okay, you'll see that that journal entry was created. Here's the um, envelope ID for the DocuSign. Let's see if it is in the file cabinet now. Yes, it is, there it is, okay. All right, so let's talk about um, the other button. I am now in the quote and I just clicked the send with DocuSign because I wanna send this quote to a customer for signature for approval. So that will pop up this window. This window, as you see, will show the PDF version of the quote. So this PDF version is whatever the standard or preferred um, PDF format that's in the custom form. You'll notice that the standard fields are not active for me to drag and drop over quite yet. Um, the first thing they want me to do is to add recipients. So this is the person that you want to send it to. So I'm gonna do a Concentris test, and then the email is um, concentris.test at gmail.com. Okay, then I click done here. And now you'll see that the standard fields um, are available to me now. So now I can just drag and drop. Um, for instance, maybe I want them to type in their name, um, I definitely want them to add in a signature, and I can add these boxes anywhere um, on this document. When I'm done, I click Send, and this document will be sent to um, the recipient that I just noted. Okay, so um, let's go back to the record, and you'll see here the DocuSign tab, and you'll see that the quote was created and sent and it was sent out in this date. 
So if you go back to your DocuSign uh, admin console, you will see this envelope ID and be able to track it from there also. Okay. A couple of things to note while we're here is um, there's two buttons underneath the DocuSign subtab. One is the open DocuSign admin console. Clicking this will take you to your uh, DocuSign login access and clicking the open DocuSign um, account settings will take you to this site or this page where uh, you can manage or change um, some of your DocuSign settings. For instance, you can click switch DocuSign account and put in someone else's uh, account information. You can also remove documents or um, account information. Note that when you click these buttons that you're doing it for the entire uh, NetSuite account. So all your envelopes and all your records will be deleted. Okay, so that concludes today's uh, quick overview of DocuSign. If you have any questions or any feedback, please reach out to us at any time. We're happy to help and thanks for watching.